another video it's your girl shaded by jay if you are new here oh welcome so y'all as i'm editing my vlog from back in atlanta i'm like i didn't even greet the mamas and do an intro so i just want to say hey mamas and i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog this vlog had a lot going on i did a lot of stuff i got some new products to put y'all on to so anyways enough of all the chit chat let's get straight into this video Okay, mamas, as y'all know, having a healthy vagina is having a healthy pH balance. Right here is a chart to show y'all where your pH balance should be to be in healthy standing. So as you know, certain things you eat, certain um, habits that you have like drinking or smoking can affect your pH balance. So I have some products from this company called Nutriblast that I actually used before. And their products are to help your pH balance stay in healthy standing at all times by vaginal washes, acids wipes feminine products you name it they got you and what I really love about it is all their products are natural fragrance free and they help with any discomfort odors so that way you could feel super confident and positive in your women's feminine health y'all look I'm so excited so in one of my previous um, women hygiene videos, I talked about and raved about boric acid. And look who sent me a box, Nutriblast, y'all. They sent me all these wonderful feminine products. I'm so excited. These right here are probiotics, which is so important for us women to use to keep a healthy vagina. They also sent me the suppositories to go with the boric acid. Let me tell y'all, when y'all use boric acid, this is the best. This is the best to use after your period or if you have a yeast infection. Literally, the next day it is wiped clean, y'all. And then they also sent me some panty liners. And then these are really good to use too once you put the boric acid in um, because all that stuff is going to come out. So these are good to put in your panties as well. They also sent me an Intimus that has aloe vera and tea tree, which also supports intimate health. And it also helps with if you have like odor down there from like sweating and stuff. It's all natural. Make sure y'all shop with Nutriblast. I'm gonna be putting everything in the description box. You can go back and look at one of my old feminine hygiene videos. Y'all see how I already raved about this product. I absolutely love it. I still use work acid to this day after my period or if I ever get like a yeast infection, it is all natural, look it up. But I'm really excited to use these probiotics because I already take daily probiotics just to help with a healthy vagina. It uh, Probiotics keeps your pH balance together. All these products help with keeping your pH balance together. And then I really do love this feminine wash. It is also all natural. There's no fragrance in it. And it really just makes me feel like fresh and clean after using it. And I have sensitive skin. I'm very sensitive down there and I have not had any issues. Y'all know I'm the one to never steer y'all the wrong way. Why am I Mike? That is so nice. Can I tie your shoe? Please? Hi. Please? Okay. Wow. That is so nice. <laughs> y'all been listening to that new baby face spray, period. All right, y'all, we at Bath & Body Works. You ready? Bath & Body Works, here we come. This one smells really good. No, I don't think so. I handed it to me. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. This smells just like Baccarat, y'all. I did so good inside of Bath & Body Works. I didn't even go crazy. Um, I got four candles, a soap, and a room spray. So this candle is called Vanilla Boss. Ba Vanilla balsam. This smells so freaking good. Then I got two holiday candles, so that's the first one. Then the second one, this smells really good. Winter candy apple. And then this soap smells so delicious, y'all. This is vanilla icicles. It smells like the notes of it is like vanilla. Oh, vanilla, amber woods and ice jasmine if you know vanilla and like a woodsy smell smells so good i got this from my kitchen then i got all in the stars room spray if you know you know this smells like baccarat go get you some i said all in the stars in the stars i got two in the stars candles 
And that is it, y'all. I'm about to make a TikTok, but I did really good. This is all I got today. Y'all already know, putting groceries and stuff away is a hassle. I got me a little drinky drink. Um, I saw something like this drink in my last vlog. I really like these because they're low in calories. This one is 93 calories. This is a new flavor. And this flavor is pink lemonade. Let's see. Make sure y'all get a straw. Bad bitch just drink out of straws per. So like, I didn't have a straw in my last one. All right, so if you didn't like the rose one that I had, you would definitely like this one if you like sweet stuff. The only thing is, this volume is 5%. Get down! I'm talking to the dogs. This volume is 5%. Like, I need some Celine. I'm gonna have some cookies with some almond milk eggnog. Yeah. It's cookies for her. Hopefully, she likes them. Outfit. I know I'm not supposed to let her see this part, but she's a baby. Right? Yes. Say hi, guys. Hi. Let me see, Grace. Oh. The elf on the shelf. The secret, mommy. Okay? At holiday time, Santa sends me to you. Uh-oh. I watch and report all that you do. My job as an assignment from Santa himself, I am his helper, a friendly scout. Help. <laughs> the first time I come to the place you call home, you quickly must give me a name of my own. What should her name be, Lini? What should her name be? Why? What's her name? Mm. What's her name? Hi, mommy. My name is Sarah. What's her name? Baba. Baba? Baba. What's her name? Baba. Okay, y'all. That's her name, Baba. Baba. Why would my baby name this elf Baba? Celine, what's, what's the elf's name? Okay. What's the elf's name? Cool. But small acts of kindness will not be a loss. In the car, at the park, or even at school, the word will get out. If you broke a rule, you better not break a rule. You better not. You chummy her. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, say bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Say I love you. Love you. Say I see you later. I see you. Celine is getting ready as well. Yeah. I love this shit. Mom used to cook for Thanksgiving. What are you talking about? Because last time, last year, baby. No, because last year, baby, your mom made Thanksgiving food and y'all was eating that shit for a month. And and if I'm not and if I'm not mistaken. She would cook that food around Thanksgiving. So how y'all don't celebrate Thanksgiving? But no, listen to me. Non-traditionally, so... Tradition to tradition, non traditional or not, you celebrate it because y'all ate around that time. No, 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 no. She cooks around Christmas soup. Just like the Muslims. Yeah. Okay, wait. Well, there was no point to even tell me that you don't celebrate it because y'all, because at the end of the day, y'all still had the yams, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, hogs, yeah. mogs. Chitlins, all that. Uh uh, we did it. Yes, sure did. But we did We had, um, like, oxtail. You had the oxtail on our rice and peas. Oh. Make sure you go check this out. Stop. It's driving me crazy, y'all. We are out to eat right now. I got me a little drink. Y'all, look at this sushi roll. Yum! This is crab and shrimp and it's spicy with avocado and cucumber. Celine is making a mess as always. Veggie fried rice with vegetable spring rolls. You better act like you know what's going on. You better act like you know what's up. 
Babe, uh, I mean, y'all, listen, somebody came up to Anthony and told them to tell Jade I said hi. She must have noticed him out Houston. That's Liddy. She's from Louisiana. She from Louisiana? Wait, what'd she say to you, babe? She said, hey, I said, are you watching YouTube? She said, yeah, I said, oh, okay. I said, where you from? She said, Louisiana. I said, okay, yeah, I got it, I got it. Y'all, look where we are at right now. Sugar Baby, I have my homegirl, Miss Rob Reezy, the owner. I should've put you somewhere, I would know it's gonna find you. Passion, I know sticks with nothing around you. Shorty, I'm Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. You got desires. I know, I know. Wow. I, know. I, know. I just got hungry again. It's late though. I didn't just get back in the house. But I'm making me a margarita pizza. If you know, you know it's so good. So yeah, I'm about to heat this up right now. And I just launched my, um, not launched, I just posted my video. Y'all, y'all seen the behind the scenes. But my girl Mia got me a bottle of Sean Don sent to my house for a congratulations to my rebrand. I love you, Mia. That's my pookie. But yeah, I'm about to eat my pizza and then I really need to decorate. So hopefully I can do that when I get out the shower. It's already 11.57. If you are a creative person, you know how you just be up at night and up early. Like y'all don't understand. It took me so long to get back into a creative space. It feels so good. I'm so happy everybody is loving this revamp video. My goal was to create nostalgia, to have my audience really engage with um, the post and just engage with, you know, the brand. Like I wanted, pe I wanted to give people something to talk about. So for now on, I said, whenever I come up with these creative ideas, I'm going to start writing them down and start executing immediately because I took two years off. Like when I first rebranded Shaded by Jade in 2020, we did amazing. Like me and my boyfriend, we was going hard in my office. And then once Celine got here, it was really hard to run my business and keep the momentum up because I was still becoming a new mom. I was still learning myself. I went through postpartum and I'm not saying this to, you know, receive any pity or to for anybody to feel sorry for me because I still was trying to drop stuff in between, but it just didn't come as organically. So it feels really good right now to just be back in my creative space. And if you're creative, you understand how for you to be creative, you need to be motivated and nothing was motivating me. Like, in regards to inspiration to create content like everybody was doing the same stuff and i just really needed to kind of like detox my mind and really set myself aside and fall back a little bit and really just get back in my creative mind like as y'all can see when y'all watch the video on my instagram like i went down to the details of the posters the tv i ended up finding the tv in my boyfriend's um, grandmother's basement because they didn't have no TVs anywhere like that. And they were trying to, his grandparents were trying to give me a way bigger TV. And I just started looking around in their basement and ended up finding that TV. They didn't even know they had it. So again, y'all know me, I'm about to bring it back to God, but that was nothing but God. Like this video was on point because I started looking for a TV the day of. I'm thinking that I could just pull up to a Goodwill and find a damn TV. No, I didn't find a TV. So, yeah, and I'm just so happy. I'm so grateful. It feels so good to be back in my creative space, y'all. Y'all don't understand. And anybody out there that feel like because you took some time off, come up with some creative shit and pop back out. It's never too late. You know, pop back out. Like, you can start as many times as you need to. Just keep getting better with time. But, yeah, I'm going to eat this pizza. I got so much work to do, y'all. I have to do two promos for a brand in one of these in a couple videos so i need to go downstairs and check my luxor box um to see what brands sent me stuff because they've been emailing me Ooh. for a few brands and then also what else i need to do i need to edit this tiktok and i need to decorate this christmas stuff and get celine's baba together as y'all know she named her what did she name? Oh, she named her Elf on the Shelf Baba. Like, girl, out of all the names, why would you choose that? 
Geezy, quiet. And Stormy's on her period, so, like, what the hell? I'm in here with a grown woman on her period. Oh, let me show y'all. So, listen. Good molecules, y'all. They put me on their PR list. Like, can you believe this? Like, me, little old me, they reached out to me and um, sent me some skincare. And if you know Good Molecules is inside of Ulta, they're a very affordable brand. But I want to show y'all. So, I'm going to let y'all know how I like these products. Um, in one of my skincare videos, I think maybe a few months ago, um, I used Good Molecules. So, yeah. Also my nails, y'all. Also my nails, y'all. This color is so pretty. It's called um, what the hell is this? It's like a pink acrylic, and then it's called what the hell is it called? Y'all, I could cry right now. Stormy bit the damn thing off of the angel, and then chew her arm. I'm so pissed. Have y'all ever had? Long horn. Have y'all ever had long horn Brussels sprouts? I'm gonna show y'all them when I'm done. But this is how you make them. I know this is crazy frying them. But y'all, they are so good. I season them and then I make like this butter and honey sauce for them. I call y'all back and show y'all when I'm done. Here. Y'all, I'm so excited. I made these Brussels sprouts. Um, the ones that taste like the ones that's from Longhorn, y'all, these are so freaking good. All I did was like fry them in oil and then like put the butter and honey. So good. This is the honey butter sauce. I gotta melt it a little bit more with a little bit of soy sauce and the pepper flakes. I already seasoned these before I flash fried them. So good. I look ugly right now, so I'm not even going to get in camera. But listen, y'all, I am listening to a deep dive of Kanye West. And please hold your personal opinions about him. We are just talking about the art, the hustle. And I already watched Genius on Netflix. But as I'm cleaning and I'm listening to this, I love to listen to, like, motivational things or, you know, things that put me in my creative mind. And Kanye is one of my inspirations. But to see him and hear him make the wire when he was in a car accident and his mouth was wired shut. I talked to y'all about this before. That will forever motivate me because a lot of times when we are going through rough times or when we are uh, going through pain or depressed, you know, we still don't want to put the work out there. And the fact that he still put the work out there and still made a rap, you could still hear him rapping while his uh, while the wires is in his mouth and his mouth is wired shut. He's still rapping and came up with the hit y'all i'm telling you grind 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 don't stop keep doing whatever it is that your heart is calling you to do or whatever god is calling you to do please do it even when it gets rough consistency is key um i'm just telling y'all right now like I'm just telling y'all right now, like find motivation in the littlest things keep going things that last long are never going to be an overnight process. This man has had many ups and downs within his career, and it took him a long time before becoming the Kanye, the Yeezy, the Ye, as we know him. Keep going, y'all. Why did they, first of all, we ordered pizza from Nancy's, y'all. They took two hours. So I keep calling them. They lying, saying it normally takes two hours. No, it doesn't. Literally, it took them two hours. So when we kept calling, they talking about some. Oh, yeah, we left it down with concierge. I said, how did y'all leave it down with concierge? And we didn't even pay for the pizza. So then the manager starts snapping on the guy like, oh, they didn't pay for the pizza? Yeah, it's free. So don't come back calling us, trying to get any money out of us. This is a free pizza. So thanks, Bill.
about sparkling water and you drinking the old one the fresh one is over there this tastes like chocolate it's so pretty but i don't know why it tastes like chocolate it's called cherry blossom but it tastes like chocolate it's not giving uh, i'm gonna rick somebody off no don't say that i don't want to edit that but listen babe i don't think that means anything He's about to jerk off the damn no, dog. No, he wasn't saying like that. I think he said he better like make a call. But it did seem like he said he better jerk somebody off. No, rig somebody off. Rig somebody. So y'all know this man is about to be breeding dogs. We got the dog breeder. You know what? The <laughs> God did. You know what the fuck going on? Listen, so who did? Like, God, God did. did. I thought he was talking about a rig somebody off. Like that means like jerk a no, dog so off to get the sperm. Else so he can get in touch with. Oh, I'm gonna ring somebody else. <laughs> oh my god, sorry. He's in the UK. So. If, no, you said Australia. No, he's in the UK. Put the shrimp in the bobby. You UK. said Australia. Listen, if you're from the UK or you are from Australia, I am so sorry, y'all. But it just was funny. I thought it was kind of cute. You Didn't know? rick somebody off. Celine, they sent me pictures. She's making gingerbread. How cool. You can do it. So you didn't put it on your business page yet. So you still can do the whole teaser thing and start posting primarily in your business page. Okay. And then it'll be fine. And then on some of the posts, you can tag your, your main page so that you'll get the traffic from both. But mm -hmm. you don't got to do it with all. But start releasing little teasers. And then I'll come up with some some type of like digital graphic. Maybe we could use some of the um the one the some of the photos from Suna that we did. And my last question for you is I know those three, but my last question for you is um how i mean i know you know how but i just need to know if i need to send you anything because how are we going to go about getting the packaging like you know how you do the digital graphics my baby stuff she made Yay. it's so cute Yay. wow lenny you made this y'all every time you see me goes to Publix, they always give her coloring with crayons that's so nice you went to the grocery store with daddy yes you did yeah Bye. Damn. simply dress her i think it's the black one <gasps> um with my man my man took a picture of so wait are you going to take me to sephora um i'm thinking about that i've been good like this picture is bomb that shit was easy wasn't it babe I don't know how you did that. It was very easy. Was that shit with no effort? No effort. Mm-hmm. You little sexy ass. That's what I'm talking about. Look at my sexy thing. Damn. Yeah, so we, gotta, we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta have him get upstairs real quick. So go ahead and do that little thing that you like. <laughs> y'all, let me tell y'all something. It is so hard to keep a clean house with two dogs. Like, some... I don't know y'all. I just give them so many baths and I'm not even supposed to give them that many baths so I gotta cut down on the baths. But I just feel like my house always smells like dog and people think I'm tripping. I got hella plugins. If you know, you know. Let me show y'all. Well, I just did a last video showing y'all. I went to the ghetto again to get a few things that Target does not sell. Um, if y'all know, I have two dogs so I'm always buying cleaning supplies and stuff because I hate when my house smells like dog. We have the cleaner that comes once a week, sometimes every two weeks. So, stop! Once a week, every two weeks, it depends. But I still have to, I still have to clean in between, right? So yeah, annoying. I have to mop my floors like twice a week because of the dogs. But anyways, these are my favorite plugins. I just stocked up on these. I always just grab these every time I go to Target or Walmart just so that I can have some never run out because I just feel like my house smells like dog. And everybody that comes to my house always tells me that I'm tripping, but whatever. Look what I found, candy cane sugar body scrub. I thought this was super cute. I found this snow, I found this snow blossom dove body wash. Like this is about to be my new little Christmas winter you know, vibes. Then I got the soap, of course. <clears throat> Y'all already know, I stay with the wipes. Y'all, Celine loves these for breakfast. These are actually really good. I had to relax off of eating them. They are so freaking good, y'all. They are just like so buttery and flaky and yummy. Mm, good, probably not vegan, but 
if you know you know i haven't done dishes in a long ass time y'all the only time i wash pots out is if i use like the cast iron or like a big skillet or something like that but literally all i do is rinse my dishes off and put them in the dishwasher this takes care of everything and yes the black in me i still add a little bit of bleach to my dishwasher period this smells so good you guys so i use the airwick for my bathrooms they just smell so freaking good so i use these for my bathroom this is the bonfire crisp mm, it just smells so sexy it kind of smells like vanilla and um amberwood and then i got celine these waffles how adorable are these she had these before again these are she had these before she really likes them because they're cute so why not like me and my girl we love the pink aesthetic around so for breakfast selena's so greedy y'all she gets breakfast at school but i don't know i still give her something um on our way there it's only six minutes from our house but i got her these little mini strawberries like how cute are these like this does no justice they are so small Ew. Look at that, look how little they are. Putting groceries away, calls for a glass of wine, period. Cause when it comes to a drink, I'm a have it. Okay, then she'll have her Morningstar sausages. My baby is so picky now, y'all. These are the only ones she will eat. She don't like the maple ones no more. I don't know what that's about. Then I got her this. Um, she really loves Baby Shark. She picked this out herself. This is scent free, so all my mommies like me that are a little nervous, to use things with perfumes and stuff like that for your baby's bath. This is 100% dye free, fragrance free, all that organic stuff, right? All that, all that good stuff, right? Stuff on my favorite toupees. I don't know, like I have all this stuff already, but every time I go, I just grab extra. I don't know, something's wrong with me. Wait, did I show y'all these already? I showed y'all these, right? Cause when you get these, you don't have to, do dishes. I keep telling my friends, like one of my mom friends, I told her about these two years ago. My girl Tiff, hey Tiff. And I remember like she used to tell me she was so stressed out doing dishes. I'm like, yo, I used to be so against the dishwasher cause I was not raised on a dishwasher. We always had a dishwasher in our homes, but my mom would still do the dishes. But I'm tired, I'm not doing that, okay? So this right here, but it, to me it has to be this brand because I tried other brands and they don't work as good. I feel like this is the one that's worked out the best for me. But get what you choose. Now this is what I'm excited about the most. So I always go to Walmart for my patty pies and then I always go for um, the wax melts because I don't really like Target's brand of wax melts. Like let me, sh I'll show y'all the other wax melts I have from Target. But this one is Bubbles. And I was just like, let me smell this because what the hell do Bubbles smell like? Y'all, this is what laundry should smell like. Every time I smell their laundry scented ones or their linen ones, the after smell is just so weird to me. Like I don't like it, but this is fresh and clean. Kia, if you're watching this baby, you would like this. Kia does not like sweet scents, y'all. Anytime I tell Kia to try a perfume or a candle or something, she hates the stuff that I picked out, but hopefully she likes this. That's it, y'all. I had got a margarita pizza, which I'm gonna put in the oven, give Selena a little bathy bath, and, oh, and you know, get ready for my launch this Friday. I'm so excited. Don't play with me, okay? But I tell y'all, I told y'all, when it's my turn, I'm gonna go crazy, period. You hungry? Okay. And then I just got another one of these. Now they normally have the big one of these. They didn't have it today, so I got the little one. But this is the best laundry detergent ever. And then this is my favorite um, fabric softener. This one and the cotton one is my favorite. I also put this in my laundry. Listen, those three things together, I promise you your laundry is gonna smell so good. If you use this for your white, I still use this and this for my white clothes and they come out so bomb with bleach. And then I still add this, but I use this for everything in my laundry. So you know, this is Celine's favorite milk. If your baby is vegan or pescatarian, I definitely re recommend this kind of milk. Or vegetarian, sorry. I could recommend this kind of milk. It has a lot of vitamins and all of their healthy fats and stuff. And her doctor really loves this one for her. Now at Target, Target is starting to get a little yellow, but these are one of my favorite chips. I had these when I went back home to Philly at the poppy store. These are so good. So Mia bought me these two. Well, no, I used the other one. But Mia bought me a few of these. And then this one smells really good from Target. And then this one is from Target as well. So Tropical Breeze 
and coconut sorbet is my favorite and then i'm just about to finish organizing my drawer this drawer has uh, my clorox wipes my to-go sanitizer i mean to-go light soap you know we have a kid i got all these little sanitizers from bath and body works but i just want this to look more appealing so i'm about to clean this up but this is motivation if you have a junk drawer for all my target expenses whatever i need and he folds laundry like y'all better come here and get y'all one of these okay i think it's really rare for y'all to see men help out around the house though like it's nothing wrong with that like as long as i wash sometimes looks will fold most of the time but that's it he don't clean nothing else laundry and which what you do babe just laundry and the dog that's all he do laundry and the dogs and he make up the bed <laughs> but whatever to make things easier for me because us moms we have a lot of stuff to do like if you're a stay-at-home mom you know that's a big job too but it's well appreciated look like i'm just sitting back while he's doing shit like i make this shit look really good actually he be getting breakfast lunch dinner be a little hassle. only sometimes y'all so i don't be feeling like it I don't be feeling like it, but look, like I said, I have to, I have to treat Luke's Anthony. I have to treat him like royalty. The thing I got to do to be on top of is really cooking. I'm getting better, y'all. It's the least I could do. Like, y'all don't understand. For my visual that I did, like, last month for my photo shoot, I was so excited about that because he made sure I had everything I needed to get done for that visual. And it came out so perfect. So, didn't I tell you that already? I don't know. He always say I rob his stash. No, I don't. I be like, I'm going to put it back. <laughs> Babe, I be, I be putting it back sometimes. <laughs> Which yours is mine. Which yours is with yours is mine. And that's just that's just one period. Babe, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Rosemary potatoes, cheesy eggs, and these are vegan sausage. Why does my camera look like this? Let's put little target to it. 
Y'all, all Target sweaters are 40% off. Look at this cute cardigan I got. He's so spoiled, y'all. So cute. This ended up being $16. It was originally $28. 40% off. I got my earrings that I was telling y'all about. These are my favorite earrings. They are so cute. If you know, you know. I was just talking about them in my last vlog. And then... Kia sent me a picture of wearing these. I got them in a medium, so hopefully they still fit good. But she looks so good wearing these. I heard these went viral on TikTok from her. So, yeah. And then this cute little tank top to wear under it with some Uggs. We're going to the movies. $8. I'll let y'all see what it look like. Y'all, I did my makeup. I feel so pretty. I got on Shaded by J Georgia Peach lip gloss. And y'all, I bought the Viral Foundation, the, the JaVinci Foundation. Y'all better come up here and get y'all on it. Eat. I was trying to say at this point, my braids are just going to turn into dreads because I don't want to take these out. Like, I just love them. But anyways, Kayla on the lashes. Make sure y'all book with her. Shop Shade by Jade Cosmetics. It kind of looks like real chicken. I just put it in the air fryer. And I'm about to season it up a little bit more. It has broccolini. Say broccolini. 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 Is it good? Yeah, it's good kitchen. Good? Bye. And then look at him. The vulture. Vulture Island. <laughs> First of all, y'all know he's gonna fight with me if he's if he's not eating on time. These two do not play about their food. Whereas me, I don't eat until after I'm done cleaning. Right? I don't eat till after, right? Why? That's not fair. I just got done cooking and putting Celine to bed. So I'm gonna do a full video showing y'all, excuse my hair, but I'm gonna do a full video showing y'all how I make the salmon croquettes. Salmon croquettes. I used, ooh, my background looks really pretty right now. I used the fish fry for it. It's so good, y'all. And then for the sauce with it, um, we had this, we had it with the remoulade sauce. So good, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. So y'all know I'm about to drop on Friday, Shade of Cosmetics. So I'm about to get on the phone with DJ so we can go over a few more things um for my website and then like email marketing and stuff and then tomorrow i have a birthday dinner so hopefully you know everything just comes together i'm about to take a shower <laughs> the new year y'all i got my alpha juices i'm so excited because i'm gonna kick off my new year's with my detox drinks y'all these are so freaking good this is a new flavor i can't wait to try it's called maha make america juice again and then the blue one is definitely my favorite y'all don't worry when they ship these out to you you can freeze them and then you know just thaw them out when you're ready to take them um and you don't have to do straight just the detox drink like literally i'll drink these in the morning just so that i can go to the bathroom i already know that's my secret weapon i already told y'all like after the holidays they help with my bloating they help me go to the bathroom and i think on january 1st i just want to kick off my new year with taking my alpha juices i'm actually going to work with them so we can create a juice together with the fruits and vegetables that i enjoy but these drinks are really effective make sure you guys use my code if you know you know but they really help y'all and for all my girls girls that's trying to get slim they have different types of plans you could do um three drinks a day you could do straight drinks as meal replacements like it's so many different things you could do to reach your goal um literally she was giving me a testimony about somebody that dropped 20 pounds by just juicing so get you some so it is the end of this vlog excuse my edges i'm about to tie my hair down and get ready for bed 
but anyways y'all so this week has been a very eventful week for me um i'm relaunching shaded by jade this weekend and i'm just so excited like i feel like i'm finally getting in the swing of things when i first started my business in 2015 y'all like i didn't know nothing i was in high school i was literally learning as i went and i've done so much stupid stuff in between and i feel like now i'm finally getting it right learning from my mistakes and like i took two years off kind of sort of like i was dropping stuff in between but i wasn't being as creative and like giving it my all like i am now and like i used to before celine and honestly you know i do know that being a mom like it takes time to get back to yourself but also like i did a lot of procrastination i kept saying i'm gonna start monday like i was playing with myself and it's like I'm in no way shape or form am i saying that it's easy but i really feel like have grace with yourself give yourself time but also try to push yourself because the more we coddle ourselves and make excuses for why we are not doing what we need to do or at least trying daily to get ourselves out of a dark space or trying daily to reach our goals you cannot coddle yourself and make excuses and i was doing that for a while and honestly y'all like i have never felt better than ever and i'm not saying like if you're a new mom that you know you don't need that time or that it's not hard if anybody knows baby i know but at least try every day just try or give yourself a few days out the week to just have your downtime but you have to try just try y'all just try like don't give up if your new year's resolution is to go into the new year meaning once it hits january 1st and you have goals that you want to have done by the new year start now don't wait the day before new year's or don't wait on new year's like start now so that you can go into the new year with healthy habits everybody's timing is different so if you say you want to start in March or April I totally understand but if you want to go into being a different person or having better habits starting January 1st you should have started that last month or you need to be starting now point blank period no more excuses y'all like by me constantly making excuses and coddling myself and feeling sorry for myself all that did was just put me the fuck behind like let's be real and I am one to say like we do need time off and we do need time to rest and reflect but also you have to know when enough is enough like it's time to put your foot forward and keep pushing and also I just wanted to talk about like business and personal things like y'all like I feel like so many years ago I missed out on so many opportunities when it came to like things that could get me in different positions because I used to try to be loyal to certain people or show my loyalty to other people that I used to work with or just weird things like that and honestly a lot of that stuff really didn't be having nothing to do with me and I'm saying that to say like now when it comes to my business like or when it comes to my influencer side like I'm not leaving no money on the table I'm not leaving no opportunities on the table I'm learning to separate business and separate personal because the thing is when people are in a bigger position to you <clears throat> sometimes they don't know what it's like to have to start from the bottom or they don't remember what it's like to have to start from the bottom. What happens is when everybody gets to where they want to be or when everybody's on a level that they happy at, you know, they don't give a fuck. They wouldn't do the shit for you. Look out for yourself, okay? Because at the end of the day, everybody's going to do what's best for them. So you always do what's best for you. As long as you ain't out here. And, and the fucked up thing is, like, anybody you know, y'all, like, for, for look it up, anybody you know that's here when it comes to business or when they're on a different level or they have a lot of money a lot of the time that shit comes with playing dirty and it's like i don't be wanting to do that and i and i'm not gonna do that and i think that's what's taking me so long like i'm not a dick rider i don't cross people to get where i'm trying to be i'm loyal i'm honest i'm genuine those type of people us like it takes us the longest to get to where we're trying to be because nobody gives a fuck about that like for you to really get to get on a different level most people they have to do so much weird shit or so much unloyal shit or crossing certain people to get where they are honestly like look it all up some of my favorite people have done shit like that like jay-z um diddy a lot of my favorite people entrepreneurs business owners they did a lot of shicey shit to get to where they are and i'm not saying that's what 
got them to where they are but it helped along the way but yeah i'm just saying don't be that way but be a little bit more assertive be a little bit more aggressive know your worth don't tolerate the bs you know and put yourself first because sometimes loyalty will have you in fucked up situations and people won't return that loyalty to you just be smart use your discernment to make decisions for yourself and pray on it but you gotta put yourself first y'all and this shit feels so good like i'm back in my creative bag like shaded by jay started off from my obsession with lip gloss when i was three years old and then when i was in high school i ended up finding a vendor um through somebody else that had a cosmetic brand at the time and she gave me the vendor and when she gave me that vendor like i wasn't playing no games i used to always look up to people who own shops i used to watch kimura kimura lee simmons life in the fab lane like just watching her as an entrepreneur when i was younger though like seven eight i didn't know what an entrepreneur entrepreneur was but i knew that these women worked for themselves like they was bossy as hell i just wanted to be like that so bad kimura lee simmons was definitely one of my first um what's the word Kimora Lee Simmons was definitely one of my first idols. And then, like, when I got in high school, like, I used to know so many women that own shops, that own businesses and stuff, and I just looked up to them. So, like, once I found my vendor, I'm like, okay, it's on. But I just wish I knew as much as I knew. But I don't know. God's plan, y'all. I just feel so good. I just feel so grateful. It's just, I don't know. It's so much stuff that is just on my mind right now. And I'm not even going to lie, y'all. I really need to journal to just get my mind clear. But all I can say is I'm really in a good space. And my message to y'all is stop playing with yourselves. Like, y'all know that y'all could be doing way more. Just do it. Get that shit out the way. Like, you only holding yourself back when you're playing around with yourself. And, like, I always be getting into it with people on Twitter when I be talking about stuff like this. Because people play, like, oh everybody is on their own time or everybody moves at their own pace da, da, da. like you can still move at your own pace being your own lane but you still got to put that work in point period like i don't know what's wrong with these people i don't know if it don't apply let it fly okay drake has said drake has said in one song no i might sound crazy to a lazy mind and that shit said a lot because a lot of times the shit i be talking about people just can't relate to because they just lazy as fuck or i don't know that's a whole nother conversation but my content is for the ones that's out here trying to make their dreams into a reality y'all are watching me right now right here doing this shit i love y'all so much <clears throat> make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i can't wait to see y'all in my next video i love y'all make sure y'all shop shadedbyj.com right now i have right now i have on the lip juice in the shade flawless berry and then also i want to tell y'all if y'all into like commentary channels i love t noir i just watched one of her videos talking about like a whole vagina series where she was like speaking with obgyns and was just talking about like how all these different stigmas behind vaginas and how women should carry their vaginas and what men think about our vaginas like it was very interesting like it really made me feel so confident in being a woman and just being more confident just period like i don't know i just love her content it's just so refreshing like she just talks about so much things she just talks about so many things as being a woman so many things about just being happy with yourself she talks about like the crazy things that's going on in the world right now but she does it in a cute way she talks about a lot of controversial things like i just love listening to her it's just refreshing i love hearing her point of view the way she talks it's so soft so smooth she's very witty she's very funny it's not so serious she throws in a little bit of jokes it's entertaining she talks about pop culture she just talks about so much stuff and i would just put her in my AirPods while I'm cleaning up or cooking. Girl, if you ever watch my video, I love you, T-Noir, okay? I love you so much. But anyways, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all shop shadedbyj.com. I'm thinking by the time this video come out, I would have already launched my website. But also, real quick, I want to show y'all something so exciting. Look at my YouTube. So I got my uh, YouTube capture. And look at this, y'all. These are my numbers for the year 2022. And I just want to say thank you, God. God, thank you. It says I got 1.6 million total views this year. 12.7 M watch. 12.7 M watch time minutes. Total likes 84.8K and 36,000. 
new subscribers like oh my goodness like, i can really cry right now y'all but I'm, I'm gonna keep myself together my words to y'all is you put the work in results are guaranteed i promise you whether that take you 10 years five years who knows but once you get your time turn the fuck up and when i drop my youtube and when i drop my um rollout video for shaded by j cosmetics so many of y'all was commenting on my video like, Jay, you definitely said when it's your turn, you gonna turn the fuck up. Or people was like, Jay said when it's her turn, she gonna go crazy. And I told y'all that in my last video or a video before that. And that's really what the fuck I'm doing. And it's y'all turn. I love y'all. Bye.